Hi, I'm Elizabeth from Strong Female, and I'm here to tell you about Flossie Wong Stahl. Dr. Flossie Wong Stahl was a groundbreaking scientist and the first person to clone HIV and figure out its genetic coding, leading to tests and therapies that have saved millions of lives. Flossie Wong Stahl was born in China in 1946. When she was six years old, her family moved to Hong Kong to escape the communist revolution. Flossie did remarkably well in school, and even though it was unconventional at that time for a girl to pursue higher education, her family encouraged her, and when she was 18 years old, she moved to Los Angeles, where she earned her bachelor's and doctorate degrees from UCLA. Flossie then got a job at the National Institutes of Health in Washington, D.C., where she really spread her wings. She joined a team of scientists who were studying retroviruses. Those are viruses that invade the nucleus of a cell and insert their genes into the DNA of the cell, changing it. Flossie started by researching the HLTV1 virus, the first retrovirus known to exist in humans. Then one day in the early 1980s, a sample came into the lab from a patient who had both HLTV1 and HIV. Flossie and her team got to work studying how HIV had infected the cell. Flossie was able to clone HIV, creating more samples to study, and create a genetic map of the virus, allowing scientists to link HIV as the cause of AIDS, leading to therapies and treatments that have saved millions of lives. Flossie then moved on to do AIDS research at the University of California at San Diego, and then she returned to the National Institutes of Health, where she continued her AIDS research until she retired. Dr. Flossie Wong Stahl died at the age of 73, but her dedication to science and her groundbreaking discoveries have led to medicines that will be saving lives for generations to come. To learn more about Flossie and other unsung heroines, head to strongfemale.me.